Those who do nothing are inviting shame as well as violence. What's up, YouTube? All right. <clears throat> well, me and my buddy Phil, we're about to go hit up the range today, and I'm getting my stuff together. And uh, I'm trying to make a full-fledged range video from beginning to end. We'll probably even get some ammo reviews out of this. Depends on what he brings with him. I know one ammo review I'm going to do is on this steel casing 9mm Luger crap right here. If I can get it to focus. There it is. 9mm Luger 115 grain full metal jacket. Steel case non-corrosive. Uh, burden primed. Tool ammo, 50 cartridges made in Russia. Got this for uh, nine bucks from Walmart. Got to do a review on that. Let you guys know how that works. Um, we got some uh, regular Remington UMC white box here. Uh, that's pretty much what I got in here, too. Um, so I'll let you know, guys, know about that. I got various targets. You guys have seen me shoot at those. And my smaller ones, you guys have seen me shoot at these. And I got uh, full torso ones and those fly ones too. So we're going to try to <clears throat> shoot at a little bit of everything today. Uh, Phil has advised me he has over 500 rounds and I got a few hundred myself. So we might be there a while, people. Uh, these are some gloves I use depending on how cold the range is and how much I'm shooting. These are actually batting gloves, as you can see. And... Uh, the good thing about these is they're uh, right at the balls of your, uh, the, like your, your palm of your hand and right across the bottom of your fingers, right at your joints, even on the thumb, it, it's padded, you know, it's to absorb the shock of hitting a ball, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know if you see that, shock absorb protection system. So uh, these are great to go shooting with, honestly, I love these, they're super thin, uh, the leather, so they're nice and warm uh, when the range is cold, plus that padding. I can shoot all fucking day with those. Uh, here's just a pair of work gloves I keep just in case it's like extra cold or somebody else wants a pair of gloves that comes with me. Uh, eye protection. I don't use it because I got glasses, but this way if somebody needs it that I'm going shooting with. I think Phil has his own, but whatever. Uh, the Howard Lights. Yeah, baby. Phenomenal, phenomenal. I love them. Everybody that's tried them loves them. Insane. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. Everything's packed up. Uh, little folder. I always bring a knife with me because you never know. Uh, never, never know. I always bring little screwdrivers, a little folder, something with me. Uh, today, I mean, as most of you know, be shooting the XD. Um, see if that polished uh, barrel and stuff will run as smooth as it feels when I'm uh, cocking back the slide there. And uh, what I got over here uh, more random tools, shears, uh, gun cloths, tape, all the little shit. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to go. I even got a new jacket. This time of year, the range is pretty cold. Uh, so this jacket um, I got on sale. Super thin. Super warm, dude. I can really move in this. It's got a nice big chest pocket. It's got big, uh, decent sized, uh, normal those hip pockets. Even on the inside, it's got like really almost CCW style pockets. I mean, that's going up to my forearm. I'm still not touching the bottom. But, uh, yeah, that's my uh, my range EDC. I got to go through my hats and pick a hat out. But that's basically what I'm packing up. Waiting to get the jingling from Phil. And then we'll head out of here and uh, get to the range. Like I said, uh, he actually just got his XD back from Springfield. He had to send it back. Uh, I'll go into detail about that later in the video. But we got to see how that works. This will be the first trip back to the range for that. Um, but just showing you my range DC, I guess, the RDC range uh, carry. Um, but yeah, so uh, pause this for now. Wait, for, wait on Phil and... Uh, 
see what we can get going. Okay, so this is my last will and testament because that man there is driving. Yes. And it's going to take us about two and a half hours to get probably about three miles. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just saying. I mean, last time the GPS said it was going to take like 26 minutes and then it took us like an hour and a half to get there. So I figured I'd do this now while there's like a, an ounce of daylight out there. Get the clock. Get the clock. Oh, yeah, the clock. The clock. There. The clock. There. Yeah. Is that, are the you clock. getting the clock? Yeah. Are you getting know. the clock? There you go. Yeah. Six o'clock. Okay. Let's you know what time we get there. So, yeah, I'll let you know. If I don't, when I reload, uh, rewatch this video to upload it, I'll let you guys know exactly what time all this happened. I'm, I'm sure we'll get there around uh, Tuesday. But um, yeah, like I said in the beginning, we're on our way to the range. We're gonna try out some new ammo. I got that steel ammo too. The steel case shit. Oh, you guys that that tool ammo I shit. Got, I got Lawman and uh, where is it? This Lawman shit. Blazer Federal. Oh, okay. This shit. This shit. <laughs> Something else to fuck up my head. <laughs> right, yeah. So hopefully it doesn't like blow up the gun or anything like that. Um, but uh, yeah, he just got his gun yes. back. And he just got it back because he didn't listen to me. See, what happened was I told him, don't just buy any gun. Don't let me go with you. No, but see, he bought a gun. So I don't know what kind of shape it was in when he bought it. So no. He said a brand new. But he sent it back and they claim they fixed it. So we're going to find out today. And uh, hopefully it's okay. And uh, I don't know. Did you send in a picture of yourself and with the... Uh, with the gun, and then they were like, "Oh, it's him!" Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, it's him. He bought a he bought a shitty gun. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what they did. We'll just we'll just oil it and send it back. Oh, it's a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> just oil it and send it back. Yeah. It's it's no big deal. Uh, shoot a couple rounds. But uh, what? Oddly enough, even though he had hiccups with his, I said this in one of my other videos, his gun is the same exact gun except for the stainless slide. <laughs> but for some reason, his trigger, everything is just so much better. But just as I started to praise it last time it broke so yeah. that says a whole lot <laughs> so we'll try out both guns we'll try all out all the different ammo uh, I'll get some footage for the range for that and uh, I'll give a wrap up at the end and let you know how this ammo especially this steel case Russian ship um, so I'm putting it out there if you see words at the beginning of this video and it says warning or prelude or something, please read it because it might mean that one of the guns blew up and we're dead and a family member actually uploaded this for us. So uh, just read everything before you watch the video. Um, if there was words and you're hearing this and you didn't read the words, just stop the video and go back because it might not have a good ending. So it, it might be one of those faces of death type things. But uh, yeah, we're on our way and uh, I'll start back up at the range. Hey, what's up guys? Just going in. Got to make this quick video because it's too fucking loud in there. It's very crowded. You're not going to hear a fucking thing I have to say. So just giving you a heads up now. See you inside. It's Phil with the stuff. XD 9 Back at it again. I like the gun. So is it locking back every time now? So I, I mean I don't know if I mentioned it in some of my other videos, but Phil got his XD and we put at least a good seven or eight magazines through it, full magazines, and the slide didn't lock back consistently. So I'm trying it out. It seems to be locking back fine. And how's the trigger and everything on? Everything it seems to be doing. When you rack the slide chambering properly? Yeah, it's beating everything. Okay. So, so looks good so far. He's still got the same shitty group, so you know. Trust me, guys. It's him. It's not the gun. Yes. Doing a little zombie action. You know what, though? What? That's before. 
Okay, so uh, zombie apocalypse. Who's with me? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anybody rolling with me? I'm Talking just saying. To nothing. Okay. Now, Phil's range back. Phil's range back. My range back. In my eyes, that's range luggage. But I guess to Phil, that's a range bag. It's a range bag. This is a range purse. So, yeah. I'll let you guys make the call. You can leave the comments. You're but to me, to me, that's a little extreme. I mean, I can't even go out. Like, my huh. my camera doesn't go that wide. I, I need a panoramic, three-dimensional, wide-angle, high-def. Uh, this is ridiculous. Oh. oh, wait. Please, if anybody feels me, wait. feels my pain on this ridiculousness, oh, get back to me. Oh, All right, going home.